Joyce yeah. Fleming joins us now of the Catholic Daughters of America uh, in studio. Hey, thanks so much for coming. You're welcome. Hey, tell us a little bit about the mission of the Catholic Daughters, because we're huge fans. You know, they come for the telethon, and, yes. and they've always been so good to us. Tell us about the mission. Our mission is to um, uh, embrace uh, our faith and to uh, help others in need. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are, what religion they are and what country they live in. So we're a service organization and our, our programs are all geared around service and spirituality. It's always great to have the chance to pray with you. You come into Mass uh, you know, every so often and, and join me and I always look forward to that. But I, I gotta get to this purple thing. <laughs> Why the purple? You and Kevin are wearing purple. Well, what is it about the... Because it's my favorite color. Oh, is that what That's it is? That's what it is. No, oh, probably yes. not. Yeah, it's, no. But no. there must be another reason. There's another reason. We, um, <laughs> the ladies, uh, when our, we had a, a national region who was from Massachusetts, she wanted to have us s distinguished. So this color purple came out in a magazine, and she decided to dress her national officers that way. Well, she was from Massachusetts, and she told us about it, so we picked it up and our state officers started to wear the same purple. And then it kind of got catchy, you know, but I'm not sure we're always going to be in this color purple okay. because the dye lot's gone. The <laughs> dye lot is gone. It doesn't matter what color purple. As long as it's purple, we're A-OK. Okay. Because okay. I'm a big purple fan. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Now, Joyce, I look and you have a badge that says National Director. What is, what's your role as National Director? What does that mean? National directors are elected every two years at a national convention and we are supervisors of different states and we do the ceremonies, we go there and help them with workshops, we take all the goals uh, from our national region, Shirley Siegfried, and uh, we pass that on to our states and we help them uh, in their goals for membership and spirituality. Mm -hmm. I really love the, the name of your magazine, and, and usually I'm holding up the Catholic TV magazine, but today we're pushing Share Magazine, because it says a lot about your, your mission. And, and this particular month, uh, Catholic TV is featured in here. Can you tell us now, I know, I know how people get the Catholic TV monthly, because they are friends of the Catholic TV network, but what kind of people get this magazine, and what can they find in it? Well, Catholic Daughters get this magazine, okay. and it's part of their membership dues. And they're allowed to take uh, copies of this magazine to their local libraries or their daughter's office and leave them there. Uh, and I happen to, when I bring in a new member, because sure. uh, I'm a district deputy on my state level, <clears throat> I give a copy of this magazine to them with a prayer card and uh, because they won't get it for at least a month. Okay, sure. You know, right. Technically. So, uh, and this, like you said, it, it's a share magazine and it tells everyone all the things we do all over the United States. Yeah. They try to have all the states in there. Maybe they can't get everybody, but they try and we have articles and the articles are written by uh, national board directors and also uh, people on the outside um, but um, it's really our membership uh, it pushes everything about us mm -hmm. one thing I've noticed uh, whenever the daughters are here the Catholic daughters and they're with the telethon or, or for the mass they're always laughing and enjoying themselves so what do you say to someone out there right now who's thinking <coughs> boy that sounds like a lot of fun I'd like to get involved why should they get involved with the Catholic daughters well they should get involved because it's a way to share your faith mm -hmm. with other women and you uh, get that camaraderie with other women from all over the world, not just uh, here. But, um, and it helps you um, practice your faith. Mm -hmm. So uh, I encourage anybody who, who says, oh, I'm so busy. <laughs> well, we like busy women. <laughs> we like busy women. So you can still be involved in your parish. We encourage that. And uh, as a lector, or Eucharistic minister, or CCD director, whatever. But we also have those programs within Catholic Daughters. So uh, we encourage everyone 
from 18 on to join, and we have courts all over the United States. And you have courts, website. like the Knights of Columbus have councils and assemblies. Mm -hmm. The Catholic Daughters of the Americas have courts, and I think there are 16 in Massachusetts. Yes. Aren't there? And is there a website people can go to? Yes, uh, we have catholicdaughters.org, and then we have uh, mastatecourt.org for Massachusetts. Very good. Well, thanks so much for being with us today, Joyce. It, it was, was a my pleasure. pleasure. Uh, and good. Father Reed, I want to congratulate you on your appointment with the oh, Cardinal. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you very <laughs> much. The Catholic You're Daughters told me to be sure to tell you that. You have done your job well. <laughs>